Got the forecast and friends making friends, which is easy to do on a pickleball court. Gately Stevenson Matthews and my old buddy David Fleur. Now, first off, you guys are both volunteers for Nosh Delivers. Why is Nosh so vital for this community? Uh, well, you know, uh, as I mentioned, I'm a founding member of Nosh, and certainly at the peak of the pandemic, it was so very important that we get food to families here on the North Shore. But our economy is such, and thankfully, the pandemic, while it is still here, is not making such an impact. But it is so important that we get out to people and that we serve families. The need is still there. Very much so, and that's what I think. Oftentimes, people don't realize because we go in every neighborhood, every nook and cranny, uh, and if there is a need and people have uh, food insecurities. We make sure we serve and we go to them. Yeah. And that is what is so unique and why it is Nosh Delivers, which is a perfect yeah. uh, name for the I organization. Like what you did there with Delivers. <laughs> David, okay, so you're a volunteer too, but yes. you see the outpouring of support. Obviously, this speaks to the popularity of pickleball. It'll be fun to see how she gets that pickleball. But also, what's it say about the community? Well, pickleball is a really friendly sport. Glen Cove is incredibly community minded. And when you put that together, it's natural that we would do a tournament like this as a fundraiser. Uh, I got involved in NOSH because of pickleball. Well, it's funny. We talk about every Saturday. We like to highlight local businesses yeah. and their support. And so one of the businesses is Henry's. Tell me about Henry's. Oh, Henry's is a 1929 ice cream parlor in Glen Cove. Such a popular place. You'll see the same people there every morning. And uh, the hot fudge Sunday is to die for. I got to tell you, they're giving, and, and then this new buddy I met over in Seacliff, the wine merchant. Michael's got a great shop there. Oh, He's yeah. got a wine tasting for 10? A wine tasting for 10, and uh, that, that is one of the bigger gifts that we've received. And uh, what's in, really interesting about Michael is he curates his own wines. He has really unusual wines, and you can walk in there and find wines of every price, very unusual wines that you don't see anywhere else. I also so like how he, he features. New York spirits. So it's kind of getting yes. local spirits in there. Exactly. Perfect for Halloween. Oh, Real absolutely. quickly, I found you on This Week on the North Shore on YouTube. Oh, wow. You've got the big Halloween party this weekend. Absolutely. What's the deal with the Kiwanis tomorrow? Well, Kiwanis is having a wonderful dog show. Uh, in fact, I got to be a judge last Hello. year. And this is what I love is that is Kiwanis always serves. And our pets are such a part of our family. And of course, they're going to do a wonderful uh, bang up job as they always do. People are bringing their dogs down. They do a dog show. They have uh, best dressed personality. You name it. Always great fun. And uh, Kiwanis always doing great things. And North Shore Kiwanis just a terrific organization. Well, I got to tell you, this week on the North Shore on YouTube for everything that's going on, you guys are dynamite. Thanks for volunteering. Thank you. Thanks for your time. John, do not so much. do not get these people are serious. Watch your way as you you head out. I'm going to sneak away.